more and being more confident, and um, it just helps overall with you know performance and you know. So I feel good. As far as a confidence level, a comfort level, how different is it for you from year one, year two? Uh, it's way different. You know, it feels way better since like. You could prepare different, like, you know, last year I didn't know what to expect coming in, so, you know, to the first game, but this year, you know, I know it's, I know it's coming, so. Knowing what to expect, what do you yeah. anticipate from the crowds this week, and especially playing a team that you guys beat yeah, in the playoffs I mean, last year? you know, last year was pretty crazy, that game, so uh, pretty sure it's going to be the same thing, probably more, so I'm excited. We got a couple of rookies on that, that D-line. How do you prepare for them, you know, not a lot of tape on them from, from the NFL? Uh... Probably preseason, uh, coaches they'll go over like what they do well, like like or what they didn't do well based off college. So. Were you were you a better football player going into week one than maybe you were talking to us this time, kind of getting ready for that first game, not knowing what to expect? Where would you put your, your finger on? I'm definitely a better football player this year. Just, I think just understand the offense overall, just in a whole. So um, yeah, pretty, pretty much that. <laughs> It really feels yeah. like this team, I mean, as much as there's hype and anticipation for the season, it's kind of business as usual. Does it feel that way for you guys going yeah, into kind yeah. of a continuation of last year? Yes, yeah, I mean, it's nothing crazy. We don't look at it like um, we're not overhyping it. We're just taking it one game at a time. I mean, we know, we know what we're going to do, what we're capable of doing. So, How are you feeling health wise? Hell, oh, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Appreciate it. When you, when you miss time during camp, just as a young guy, like, is there any catch up you have to do now? What do you, you know, feel like you, you miss anything? Uh, I mean, when I first got back, you know how to get back in football shape. Uh, first day was rough, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but other than that, it, it was good. So. Where's your second level for this offense? You return a lot of the core pieces. Obviously, GMO's gonna be a big part of that. It's gonna stretch the field a little bit, open yeah. maybe some things up, and now your comfort level just overall where this offense could be how good this offense yeah could be. I feel really good about it uh, especially Jamal like you said uh, I can't wait to see him he's been you know lights out throughout the whole offseason and coming into uh, practice today you know so I'm excited to see him how much can sorry how much can you sense this offense growing with the growth of you and Sam Laporta and then if you want to throw Jamo in there too yeah I mean I'm going back to say it again I uh, understand the offense better you know uh, you know me Jamo and Sam you know because you know Jamo that was his first year uh, they're really playing so all three of us you know um understanding the offense and just clicking on all cylinders i think it's going to work out perfect so would you say understanding the offense just how does that allow what, what does that allow you to do maybe more better whatever when yeah. it comes to the football field probably just just think faster play without thinking so just reactionary yeah, yeah. how can you guys surprise people based on what you did last year i mean it seems like nobody's you guys aren't going to sneak up on anybody, but how yeah. can you guys surprise people? I don't know. I mean, we scored a lot last year, so I mean, planning on scoring a lot again, so uh, hopefully that surprises. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But could the defense be maybe the Oh, element, yeah, 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 defense. The yeah, team, they, team as a whole. Yeah, okay, I thought you were talking about just offense, but defense, yeah, they, 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 man, they different, I ain't going to lie. It's hard playing against them every every day, so I'm happy they get to hit somebody else. So, yeah. <laughs> you, were, you were working on your, your receiver skills kind of earlier in camp. Do you feel like you got to see that through uh, with with the injury and the time you missed? Uh, I mean, it definitely hurt, you know, missing you know the practices and weeks that I did. So, um, hopefully, got uh, the game plan and you know the rest of the season, it can get can get more involved in it and stuff. So. Yeah. How do you expect this backfield to evolve from last year? You and uh, collectively, I guess. You know, getting things uh, rolling early. You know, last year we started, like, it was kind of, we got it rolling late. So getting out to a fast start and just consistently doing that every week. And if that happens, what does that, what does that mean statistically or, or, you know, for the success of the team or for anything, I guess? What? Uh, I mean, we run, I mean, we uh, rely heavily on the run game. So I think it revolves heavily through us and what we do consist on a consistent basis. So it's being consistent every week and you know doing um, just doing good every week, uh, following our landmarks and what we're supposed to do. I think uh, after that, everything will take care of itself. So.